<laughs> okay, here we go. Today, I think I'm going to start with a little simple project. Should be pretty fun. Um, I need to put a new hinge on the front of this little kitty cat. 1970s kitty cat snowmobile hood. And what I plan on doing is knocking off some of these old plastic ones. And I'm going to make a new hinge out of a piece of aluminum. It's going to have a similar tab like these are here. And uh, what I did is I went online and I found like a newer Articat snowmobile logo. And I figured I will transfer that to this aluminum. Cut out the shape. And I'll actually bend the tabs here to create the hinge to lock into the rest of the snowmobile and uh, it'll be a cool little add-on I just sized it so that it fits in there right and the teeth will run down right into the hinge and then maybe I'll uh, I'll put some marks on the aluminum plate to kind of mimic the picture as far as eyeballs and the teeth and uh, let's get started. Got some cutting to do. Okay, I'm uh, set up here in the lower lower shop. Um, I'm just going to take my knife and cut this out around here on this wood. And then we'll transfer that over to my aluminum. And we'll go over to the bandsaw. And I'll show me cutting that out. Let's see how it goes. And uh, the detail doesn't have to be real, real good on this. Just getting the basic shape. It's going to be close enough. The kid will never know. Get the whiskers. Not the greatest light down here. I'll film most of this here and uh, I'll probably edit the rest out, but we'll get this cut out and then wherever I bring you back, I'll bring you back and uh, hopefully uh, everything goes good here and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Got the shape cut out. We're just going to use my marker here, wherever I put it. Right here. Try to save on material. We'll find a corner that's close. And we'll uh, draw some lines here. I'm not looking for perfection. Just trying to fancy this thing up a little. Okay, so I got the shape kind of laid out. We'll take that over to the bandsaw and then uh, we'll uh, cut it out and go from there. Should be pretty good. Move you over. We're over at the bandsaw now. Um, I'm just going to use use it in the vertical position here. Go in. We'll cut out as much of this as I can. Um, I don't know if it's going to be loud or not. Let's go.
got kind of the basic shape cut out now. I'm going to go over the belt sander. Smooth it up, deburr it. Let me take some of the glue off. Looking pretty cool. So, got the back deburred, cleaned up a little bit. Glue don't really matter. I'm going to just take my file, get in here and clean up some of these edges. Let me knock these points down. They're pretty sharp. Make those a little more pointy. And then we'll go uh, measure up, see what this his looks like to get this hinge rolled. Might need a more aggressive file. <laughs> That'll do. That was smart. I put this in a vise, but why do things the easy way? Doesn't make sense, does it? Ah, life is hard. It'll be great. I do not want to come back. Uh, yeah. Corners down. Not too bad. We're in a pretty good shape. For the shape we're in, anyway, that's, uh, that's for sure. But, uh, getting old takes a toll on you. Yeah. Leave that there for later. So, there it is. I'll uh, have to drill some holes in here and stuff, but let's go see. Here's just a little stone, but it just got to fit in here. I don't know if it's be right. So, looks like we got to take a little bit off. I'll go bring it back over to the bench sander, the belt sander there, and uh, take a little bit off each side. Check it again. Oh, there we go. Now we got some hinging. I'll have to grab the hood. Oh. Kind of make a mark here and see uh, pretty much
So, looks like I'm going to have to, uh, that's where my bend is going to start. And then it's going to create the hook, right? It's going to come down here, it's going to create a hook to latch into the snowmobile there. Um, I'm, I am going to have to take this down a little bit here, clean this up right here so that it's the same width the whole way. Um, I'm losing some of my teeth here, but I still think overall I'll have my top teeth. I'll do some eyeballs, you know, some googly eyes or something. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see how it fits. I think we're going to be pretty good right there. See if I can't uh, make a mark. That's where I need the bend to be. I'll probably take it off right there. So I'm going to trim it. I'll trim it to there. And then I need to make my bend. Um, I'll probably end up having to take a little bit more off this, but I'd rather have a little extra and have to trim it again than not have enough. And then my hinges, all this nice work is all messed up. So, I'll be back. Get this, uh, Get this in the vise here. I'll put the thing towards me so I can see. You go pretty straight with that line. I don't care if there's marks on it. Got a hammer. I need a I need a little pin or bolt or something. Be right back. Don't know what it is, but it's about what I'm looking for for the diameter. We're gonna put some heat on it. This helps bend the aluminum a little bit nicer. Uh, reduces the cracking or splitting from stretching. Maybe. Technical difficulties. We got propane. I'll be back. Math gas? Lighter? No torch, I guess. Guess we're doing it this way. Hope for the best. It's kind of what we're looking for. Starting to get that hook in there. Uh, 
Got that hook in there. We're just going to squeeze it in a little tighter. Kind of keeping this diameter. Somewhat close to where something like that. See that? Mm -hmm. Now that pin on the snowmobile will sit right in there, and that'll be the new hinge. I'm gonna have to cut this down. It only has to be like a fraction of that height. We're just gonna use, we're just gonna zip it off with the death wheel here. Don't worry, I got my safety squints on. Woo! Oh boy, so fell right into my oil. Okay. My luck, huh? Let me try that again. Let's see. Let's see if it's close anyway, huh? So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna hook right here on this pin. Like that. And then when I rivet that to the hood, I'll have that. And then I should still be able to finagle it out of there. And I have a little Articat shaped hinge. going okay so we got our hood here we got our uh, hinge I'm gonna take my little death wheel I'm gonna trim these tabs off the old ones clean this up I'm just gonna use these marks for these old ones as a reference to where I got to put my new one cut them off this plastic so it should go pretty easy helicopter or something going by low it sounds we got the hospital right up north there so probably a medivac okay trimmed up cleaned off take the hinge Like that. My cut will work. Can't talk.
with my marker. Maybe I'm just trying to lay out here kind of where I want my rivets. I'll do three rivets. Two of them kind of where the eyes should be. One will be down here. And I'll put a plate on the back side underneath here. Underneath to be as a backer for the rivet. Turn it out. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little center punch on these holes. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I got myself just a little, uh, one of these step bits. Check the size of my rivet. One more. One more. Clean up the back side. Perfect. It's nice with the step bits. It actually puts a little chamfer on there too. So you can go from both sides, cleans it up. Got my three holes, got my rivets. I'll go right in there. Just went and got some sandpaper. Gonna put a little shine on it. Quick sandy. Shine that right up. Looks pretty good. Pick this hood up. Lay that on here. I got some marks on there. And then what I'm gonna do, take my marker, and I'm just gonna mark the three holes. And then drill them in the plastic. I want them, I want them nice and tight, so it's a little bit thicker. So I got to go from both sides. Fits pretty good. Got all three of them here. Lay my hinge on. Check my alignment.
All three go in. Looking pretty good. Grab my rivet gun. Um, I'm not going to put the plate on the back. I actually have these, these little washers that actually are made for going on over the rivets. Put the rivet gun on there. Oh boy, it's tough. Oh boy, red line. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Pin should fall out. So I got a couple more washers over here. We'll do these other two. Trying to break stuff. Oh boy. One more. Look at that. Rivet it on. You can see those washers, those rivets. Suck those washers tight so they don't pull through. Get yourself a nice little hinge. Let's see how it fits. Snapped right in. Button down. Whoa, almost dropped you guys. Look at that. Adjust my bipod here, or my tripod, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I can get you guys down and look at that thing. Here, we'll even do it this way. Get you guys right off. Kitty cat. Kitty cat hood. Look at that. Absolutely spice that right up. Stylish. I love it. Simple. Worked out. I mean, it only took me. Worked out pretty good. It only took me like an hour or so. Um, filming obviously takes a little bit longer, but. That hood ain't going nowhere now. It's absolutely exactly what I wanted. I'll maybe throw some paint or something on it. It's aluminum, so it ain't gonna rust or nothing. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Kitty cat. Snowmobile, done. Kid can ride it now. 
I think that's a job well done. Maybe do something in that little panel right here. Soon, I don't know. Snow's kind of it's warming up here in Minnesota now, so snow's kind of going away, but should be pretty good. He'll get a couple more rides on it, I guess. And then we'll be going over to the four-wheeler. He'll be riding that. Job well done. Let me know how it is. If you like it, give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Minnesota Madness. I'm out.